Hi lovelies and welcome to a realistic day in my life as a witch YouTuber. Well, a semi-serious version of it anyhow. Let's jump right into it, shall we? Warning, the following video contains strong cases of humor and sarcasm. Graphic descriptions of eye-wateringly mundane and boring chores might be disturbing to an enchanted audience. Destroy cottage core fantasies and pop spiritual bubbles. Viewer's discretion is advised. I usually enjoy to get up very early in the mornings, as this is the only time I get in a day all to myself, and I love to use it for my personal well-being and some self-care. I do think that taking care of your spirituality and mind is equally important to taking care of your body. So I will dedicate at least half an hour to meditate and ground myself. To find my center and inner calm. Lighting a colored candle or some matching incense is a great way to set the mood for this and also can help raise vibrations for any intention I have set for the day. Taking in enough fluids over the course of the day is so important. So I will make sure that I start the morning off right with a freshly brewed cup of herbal tea. Their carefully selected magical herbs are doing wonders for my body and give me a boost of energy for the rest of the day. And of course, I won't miss a chance to stir in some intention too. Working that simple but effective kitchen witchery. A cleansing bath with carefully picked herbal infused soaps or handcrafted bath bombs is a wonderfully relaxing way to show yourself some self-love and rid yourself of any unwanted negativity when just starting into a fresh day. Another great way to detoxify from both energy and toxins in your body is to use Epsom salt and light some white candles. Next, I will work some glamour magic. It is astounding to see how with such simple things as changing your appearance, you can also influence your mood and mindset for the day. It is also the perfect time to set my intentions and goals, write in my calendar and journal a bit. As often as I possibly can, especially during the brighter half of the year, I try and catch the sunrise. To greet the new day and fuel up on some of that special soft light. Misty spring mornings are such a magical time anyways, when everybody is still asleep and the world lies there all calm and tranquil. Only the chatter of the birds breaking through the crisp morning air, illuminated by the first golden shimmers of the sun, slowly rising over the horizon. The feeling of empowerment and mindful enjoyment fills my heart when I stretch my body in the first warming sun rays of a new day. Once my mind and body are awake and aligned with the energies of the day, I will hurry back home to arrive in time to prepare breakfast for my family. I usually serve something simple, like freshly baked buttery overnight breakfast buns or a fruit platter with fresh milk. While enjoying this home-cooked breakfast with my family, I usually take the time to read and respond to new comments on my videos. I love to read all the positive and encouraging comments I get from all the wonderful subscribers watching my videos, as it really gives me the motivation to keep going with my channel. Then I will go over on Patreon and Instagram and answer as many messages as time allows before precious baby boy finishes his breakfast. Being a cottage witch at the very core, having an inviting, organized and clean home is a priority to me. So I will do some light chores around the house to keep up with the high standards I have set. Making YouTube videos that aim to be aesthetically pleasing, it is of course also helpful to have any working surface clean and ready to be showcased too. The morning is dedicated to spending time with my kid, bonding and enjoying each other's company while I think about what videos to produce next. And then it is time to cook some easy lunch. Of course, infused with much love and sometimes even a spell of kitchen witchery. 
I take this opportunity to film my next YouTube video while simultaneously teaching my son the value of cooking with intention and using selected healthy organic ingredients. After a wholesome and nourishing meal, it is time to get some more work done as I get all the time to myself when baby is in bed. So I can really sit down in peace at my computer to edit videos, design thumbnails, write and record voiceovers, pick music, design Patreon content, fill text forms, do SEO research, contact collaboration partners, cry about my non-existing income, buy new filming equipment, answer more comments and messages, research additional streams of income, work on top secret projects, organize b-roll content, study for my drone license test, transfer pictures, format videos, educate myself in filming techniques, defer wrongly raised copyright claims, look up editing styles and brew some more herbal tea. After this power hour of work, where I got most of the things checked off my list, I can now really enjoy the afternoon. Usually we'll go for another relaxing walk, work in the garden, get some chores out of the house done or do something creative. This really helps me to recharge my batteries, which at this time of the day are usually quite depleted. When we return home, I do prepare a simple and quick dinner, which we will enjoy together as a family. My partner then takes care of baby's bath routine, which gives me some time to rest and relax for a couple of minutes. This is usually also the time when I will do some scripting and pull a tarot card of the day to reflect on the same and my life's direction in general. Once my son is in bed, I do enjoy some quality couples time with my partner. It is so important to communicate and make time for each other every day. After a lovely evening, it is time to call it an early night, as tomorrow we will start early again. Good night and see you very soon.